Hello, this is a start test of my 2008 Subaru Outback 3.0R with a 5 EAT transmission. We are trying to start it without the TCM connected. Uh, this is in preparation for a possible manual swap. So we have here in the footwell, we have the two connectors for the TCM disconnected. Uh, this would be, I believe, B54 and B55. And we have a jumper connecting the neutral pin to ground. Uh, so this basically will tell the ECU that the transmission is in neutral, so it should allow us to start. Um, this annoying yellow flashing noise is from my OBD adapter, so we can ignore that. All right, let's give this a try. So, vehicles in park, everything else should be good to go. Accessory. And that's on. I have an ABS light that I don't recall normally seeing. Everything else looks normal. Uh, I'm gonna check and see if we have any codes and It has to connect because I just powered up the uh, the car. All right, so it should connect to my ECU pretty soon. There it is. Okay, fault codes. So without starting the vehicle, we have no fault codes active and no fault codes pending either. Okay, let's see if this will start. So we are in park. Here we go. And she is alive. I've got check engine, flashing cruise, flashing sport. ABS light is on, traction control is off. Everything else looks to be running normally. Um, obviously with a check engine light, SI drive won't do anything. The traction control button doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I am going to check and see what codes we have. Okay, we have a P0600, and that's it, just a serial communication link. That's pending and active should be the same. So we just have one code so far. Um, Checking one more thing, doesn't seem to affect intermittent rear wipers, which sometimes is affected by, uh, or is affected by reverse. And I can physically take the selector out of park. Um, I'm not gonna play with that too much though, without the TCM connected. Seems to run fine. And I do have, seems like a rev limiter at four and a half thousand, although it acted a little weird there. It uh, acted like it wanted to keep going up. But that's about where it stopped. 
So there may be something we need to look at there, but everything else looks okay. The uh, car starts, seems to be fine. Um, no issues there. So I think that's a uh, successful test.